Today's video, we are going to be talking about my favorite drop set using bands and body weight to build a bigger back. When we think about building muscle hypertrophy, we need three big things, right? We need an external load, we need the ability to break down muscle tissue, and we need to be able to create external stress. That's one thing, one reason why I really like using drop sets because we can go from higher rep hard movements to a little bit easier, to a little bit easier. And when we get into that muscular stress, we wanna be extending the time domain out or extending the number of reps out that we're doing. And all we need is a band and our body weight, which is why we created the bands and body weight program. And if you're interested in that, get into the description right below. We're actually having a massive sale on it right now. And you can use the code shrugged at checkout to save 10%. And the reason we created the bands and body weight program is because not everybody has access to a monstrous gym. You don't always have barbells and dumbbells and perfect machines and cables and all of it, but you got to make do with what you got. And optimal to mean means having a goal, looking at the situation that you currently have in front of you and using those things and those tools that you have to get yourself closer to that goal. That's how we optimize your training. You don't need to have a beautiful facility, all of the weights and perfect situations to get closer to your goal. We need to optimize your training with the tools that you have so that you can get stronger faster. Now today we're going to be using one single band and what we want to do is set up a drop set. So what we want to think about is how do we make it more challenging, a little bit less challenging and very challenging towards the end which, with much higher reps. When we think about those three stimuluses, right? External load, how do we increase the load? Well, one thing that's great about these bands is the further we stretch them, the harder they are, the more weight, which is basically the external load, and the more tension, which is the external load, and you're gonna recruit more muscle fiber the heavier it is. So the more we stretch it, the more muscle we need to build. The second piece of that is the muscle tearing down. So we wanna set up the second piece of this so that we're doing more muscle breakdown. And when we think about breaking muscle down, using eccentrics is like the number one way to do this. So we can add a tempo to this on the eccentric of the pull up on the way down. So we can pull up as fast as we can. And then we're going to lower ourselves with a three second lowering pro eccentric. That's the lowering phase of the pull up. When we get done with that, we can move the band around, do some pull downs, and that's going to burn our lats out. We're going to do those in the 12 to 15 range. So the very first thing we want to think about is how do we set this band up in a place that we can then use it and use the tension on the band against our body weight so that we have to have more musculature to pull and as this band stretches the harder it's going to get. So we want to use this band, lucky for me I've got this squat rack and we can pull it and as we pull it up we're going to set it above our traps. Now if you don't have a squat rack with J clips you can set it into there's plenty of things. Anything that's fixed to the ground that is not gonna be moving is going to be a great thing. If you have a bunch of weights, heavy kettlebells, heavy dumbbells, or just something outside that is fixated to the ground, it's going to be a great tool for this. You can come up here, and as we come up, we're gonna do a set of five. And you see each rep, as the band extends, becomes significantly more difficult as we go up. To start this off, we want to do five reps against the band. So that's going to be our external load. We're going to have to recruit maximum muscle fibers in order to get the complete reps. From there, the second piece, we're going to add an eccentric tempo with three seconds. So that's going to handle a lot of the muscle tearing down. Eccentrics are incredibly difficult and beat muscles up. So you don't want to do a ton of high reps, but if we go from five weighted pull-ups or banded pull-ups, then we can go into a tempo where we do five reps with a three second eccentric. So we're up, pull, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three. And we're gonna do five of those. And from there, we then want to back the load down significantly. We don't need to worry about the tempo, but we can start to get into some high rep 
muscular stress pieces where we want to just be activating the lats, moving them through a large range of motion, and we can get a ton of blood flow. That's going to be the big pump that everyone's chasing. So we can come here, just wrap it over the pull-up bar. I like to drop down either to my knees or in a squatting position here. And we're just going to pull for 12 to 15 reps. Make sure the elbows stay nice and tight and slow on the way up. Now at the very bottom, it's really nice if you can hold a contraction here, working on a little bit of isometrics. And already you can start to feel your back all the musculature activating that you weren't able to do in the heavier reps because this lighter rep, as the tension grows and the band stretches, we're able to get a big contraction and a lot of blood flow to the back. So that's your drop set for building a bigger back with bands. The bands and body weight program is in the description. Go check it out. Use the code SHRUG to save 10%, as well as your ability to use bands and your body weight to grow a big back. Hit this drop set, five banded pull-ups, five pull-ups with a three-second eccentric, and then 15.